Uh, next up is Jody Mueller. Don't run away, Jody. Come on up here. She's out of the Fort Worth area. And uh, she's got lots of stories. Hi, my name is Jody Mueller. I was a mother of four children. I lost two of them in October 2013 after seven abductions by their father and after the corruption in the courts that allowed him to, they flipped the custody, so he was now primary. My rights were not terminated, but by proxy basically they were because when you tell someone that's doing this to their children, these types of people, that you do not have to encourage a relationship between their their uh, other parent and the children, it will never happen. So I've not seen those children, except when they cross the stage to graduate, and then I was uh, berated for doing so. I haven't seen my twins now, who just turned 17, since March 19th, 2015. Except on one occasion when I saw one of the, my daughters and she asked me to come visit her at her workplace, which is 720 miles away. The reason why she asked me to come is I had just been put in jail for driving 720 miles away after I heard she wanted to commit suicide because a judge in my case wouldn't let her see me and is not writing orders for parents to see their children when they reach a certain age. They think that these children are better off with one parent. I didn't get on the stand in my court hearing in November and talk about their father in a bad way. I actually said I felt sorry for him because something must have happened in his childhood for someone to do this to another parent. But my daughter, who wants to commit suicide, had to reach out to a friend of mine's daughter because she's not allowed to call me or text me or email me. So like I said, I got in my car, I, I drove up 720 miles, I waited till school was out, and I walked in and told the counselor. I begged her to do something with my child and to help her out. Three hours later, I was put in jail. They made up false uh, allegations, said I scared the counselor. I was out in seven hours, but now I just went up again last week and was told to get off the property. So my rights have not been terminated yet. I can't even get my children's school records. I'm not on their emergency contact list. And should anything happen to my children, I'll never know. Like I said, I've never, ever kept my children from this father. He saw them once every 12 to 18 months their entire life. I've always encouraged um, the relationship between the father and the children. I don't get the same. But I don't think it's all about the father. I think it's more about the court system and the corruption that's going on and the money. And so I um, encourage people to do what I did. And it's probably not the correct way to do it. But I'm fed up. And so I asked the judge if he thought he was God sitting up there in his black robe and telling me I can't mother my children. And he stated that you can't mother your children because you have PTSD that you developed because your ex has kidnapped them eight times. So my plan of action now is I can't fight for my kids anymore. They're 17, 19, 21. So when people say these kids come back, they don't come back. Maybe 20% of them come back and they're messed up for good. So my plan is to start su suing these people. And I hope that other people do the same. And I intend to sue half the state of Iowa for doing this. And I've already got my check checklist ready on this file. And all these people I'm filing complaints against because this is a violation of my rights as a mother, as a parent. I've never violated his rights. I just want what he has. I want to be able to have a, a relationship with my children. And everyone should be able, every child should be able to love both parents. This is ridiculous. So that's my uh, 
that's my plan right now. So I encourage everyone to please keep writing your legislators. Uh, don't take no for an answer. If they say you can't parent your children, you keep fighting and fighting because this is ridiculous that they're violating our rights like this. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Those are my children as well as they are his. And I, I, I started a red envelope campaign. I hope people do it. Whether you hate Trump, like Trump, love him, please send letters to President Trump about this because he's listening. He is listening. And send them to your legislators and please put on the outside, drain the swamp of family courts or make families great again because that's what we have to do. And to make families great again, we all have to be in the lives of our children equally. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Jody.